Hey, this is Keith with the Georgetown County School District, and today I'm going to show you how to clone or remake a Padlet that you have created. For example, if you have one created in for your first period class, and you'd like to do the same Padlet for your second, third, fourth, and beyond classes, you can do that very easily without having to remake from scratch. So let me go here. I'm going to go ahead and get signed in to Padlet.com and it's going to bring up my dashboard and so instead of going to make or join or looking at other padlets what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull up this sample page and on this sample page there's a new place up here that says remake and when I click remake you will see a line across that will move across the screen this way sort of like it would be scanning or copying it and so I'm going to click the remake and then I'm going to tell it, I want to copy not only the design, but the post. I can choose not to copy the post. Uh, and the only reason that you would copy the post is if you, as the teacher, put a prompt up for the rest of the students to have to then answer some kind of question or respond to. Other than that, you don't necessarily have to have all the different things. But I'm going to go ahead and do make a, make a copy of these posts. And I'm not going to copy people in privacy. I'm not going to do copy authorship. That's, it's mine. I created it. So I'm going to click submit and watch the line come across the page right here. Hope you can see that. It's right here. It's going across, it's scanning. And then up at the top now, you'll see where it says remake of sample page. So if I close this out and go back to my dashboard, it's not there. But if I just do a quick refresh, and do the hit the F5 key if you're on a tablet or the fourth key from the top left of the keyboard if you're on a Chromebook and do a refresh from there you'll see that I now have the remake of that sample page that was here I now have it here and then Padlet will send you a thing that says congratulations your Padlet is ready It'll send you an email so if I click and open this one then I want to go into where this is by going uh, to the three dots at the top and I'm going to modify my Padlet and this is where I'm going to say remake it. This is where I'm going to rename it to whatever I want to rename. Or block two. So you've got the same Padlet and you've got the same settings for everything. Now I'm going to click save here and I will go here now you'll see it already changed it to rename for block two and so if I in my modify again I'll go back into to here if I want to modify or change the name or change anything I can do it here the other place that you will be aware of is if I go to the cog wheel I can scroll all the way down to the bottom and so http padlet.com ke brown slash and then this number is what you would paste at the end of this so for example really and truly if i were to copy this and put it in the front here this whole web address would be where you could put uh, on your web page for your students to be able to get to or if you want to create a google shortener or a tiny url so if I go out to a new tab and paste that one and then re enter, you'll see that I'm going to get the rename for the block too. That's the new one that I've just created. So I hope this will help you save some time when you're making Padlets, especially if you're doing something to have your students go from one period to the next and you're actually doing a lot of the same assignments, but you want to keep your classes separated. This is a good way to do that. Hope this helps.